We begin with the Lompoc Police Department receiving over $700,000 in safety upgrades. News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez joins us live. Christina, you spoke to the police chief and the mayor. Good evening, Scott. That's right. Lompoc City officials say the funding will be invested into the safety of the community. A computer and record system over 20 years old is now getting upgraded thanks to federal funding of over $700,000. We have been the target of various types of crimes, and so as a result, we need modern tools. And modern tools help the efficiency of a very small but productive organization like our public safety and police department. We have to be on top of updating our technology as a police agency and having the financial support from the city and from the city council is key to that. Mayor of Lompoc, Janelle Osborne, says city officials and Congressman Salud Carvajal secured the funding to modernize Lompoc police, in turn, better serving the community. What it allows the officers to do is stay in the field longer because it's now cloud-based. Our old system was server-based, so they had to come in early and start writing the reports to upload them and put them on the server. City officials say more officers in the field can dictate the difference between life or death. But this way, they can stay in the field, they can file their reports, um, so they're able to stay in the community and, and respond for a longer period of time. Chief of Police Kevin Martin says this comes at a time where officers are also receiving body cameras. Now we're in a situation where we'll have video uh, documentation of, of not only uh, complaints that are received from the public, but also moving our criminal cases forward to the district attorney's office. It's really important to us in order to make sure that our community's safety improves. And part of that is making sure the officers are safe themselves, can communicate, and can respond and have the tools they need to do the work. This project was part of the $12 billion signed into law by President Joe Biden. For now, live in Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez. Scott, back to you.